Uh, welcome everybody to FEMA vs. Coder Ultimate Grudge Smackdown Fight to the Death. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no, wait, 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 guys, this is a fight. Yeah, yeah, so, um, so we're gonna need a lot more of the woo <laughs> and a lot less of the like tepid laughter. Let's try that again. FEMA vs. Coder Ultimate Smackdown Fight to the Death! <laughs> Alright, that was uh, way better. Alright, so, uh, who are the FEMAers in the room? Let's hear from the FEMAers! Whoa! Really? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't make it too easy for us. <laughs> Let's hear it from the femurs! <laughs> Let's hear it from the coolers! <laughs> femurs! <laughs> coolers! <laughs> Sweep the leg! Dude, well, the coders always have deeper. I know. You always have these like you guys. Find me. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll, we'll start with a little bit of introduction. Yep. I think you're first, right? Am I? Yeah. yeah. There we are. I'm Adam Graham, also known as Scaragooch, which is a not so well known John Stewart pizza, John Donald Trump reference. If you don't know it, go watch the clip. It's hysterical. I am a web designer and I'm a designer. I've been a designer and developer and uh, I'm now a themer because that just fits my talents. Um, that's actually not correct. It's from, I've been doing this since uh, 1998. Uh, I've been working primarily in Drupal since 2011, and I work for Formal Communications, which is based in Alexandria, Virginia, in the U.S., uh, and that's my fancy title. Oh, and uh, my martial art that I practice is Northern Shaolin Kung Fu. Try again. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the artist's rendition of Adam. <laughs> Excellent. My name is Campbell Vertesi. Um, some of you might know me as, oh, the huge manatee. There is no John Stewart reference in there. There's just a ridiculous pun. Um, I, I've been a, started as a sysadmin in 2001 and saw the light came to Drupal 2005 and I've been, uh, I've done a little bit of everything in Drupal. At the moment, I am a technical architect for Forum One. I also work with, uh, with Adam in well, we work remotely for Alexandria, Virginia. Uh, and this means that I've gotten to do some pretty fun code on some pretty fun, big, uh, especially nonprofit and government websites. So, outside of the Drupal world, I practice Bujinkan Ninjutsu and Taekwondo. Beamers, <laughs> you got tough act to follow. That's me. That's, 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 <laughs> that, that's actually me. I took that from <laughs> So, you might be wondering, what do martial arts have to do with Drupal? <laughs> Depends on how bad of a fight you've gotten into with a, with a femur. Um, martial arts, we call it martial arts because it's part martial and part art. There's an aspect to it that's really practical, effective combat that you actually want to hurt somebody. And there's also an element to it that it's an art form. It's a lifelong study where form and beauty are really important. Uh, so. On the martial side, you want it to be effective combat. It's okay to be cheap, right? Yeah. Like, no, ninjas are okay to be cheap. Yeah, well, Honor. this is actually the ninjutsu side is very close on the martial side. We don't actually care about art. <laughs> so, like, if you can scoop up some dirt and throw it in your opponent's eyes, that's totally valid, right? Like, if you can step on their toes, it's like an effective <laughs> combat maneuver. Yeah, you just want to hurt the opponent, get out. Efficiency and effectiveness is the most important thing, and I don't care how it looks. And uh, yeah, the dirt thing. Yeah, the dirt thing. <laughs> so, so, does this remind you guys of any particular side of the themer versus coder? <laughs> <laughs> Each is thinking the other, right? <laughs> <laughs> now, there is also the art side. Uh, especially in Kung Fu or Tai Chi, which is one of the inner aspects of Kung Fu, philosophy is as important as the execution. Um, it, you know, the mental aspect of the journey is just as important. If not, the body will follow if the brain leads, is the gist of that. Uh, also in Kung Fu, precision and speed trump power. If you're fast, you can get, doesn't matter how strong the other guy is, you can get in and out, poke his eyes out, whatever you need to do. We do that in Kung Fu too, by the way. Cheap. <laughs> uh, and lastly, uh, one of the beautiful aspects of, uh, of Kung Fu is their, their forms, they're not very complicated necessarily. 
can take years to perfect. Uh, they teach you ultimately flow fighting, um, which is elegance. Yeah, which ninjas don't have. Yeah, we don't care about. So, a really popular thematic concept in, in every CMS is this separation of form versus content. This is actually a big deal in, in art and in history and all sorts of other things as well, but I only care about Drupal today. So, in our concept in the Drupal world, the form side is responsible for visual elements, what looks good, making nice rounded boxes, making text styles appropriate, the right font choice colors I started with, sorry, and having a reasonable layout. The information is presented in a way that makes sense to the user, has a good UX, right? Here. We talk about this stuff all the time. On the content side, we really only care about saving content, like getting the information from the user, and then returning it appropriately filtered into HTML, and making sure that it comes out in a reasonable DOM structure and a reasonable layout. There's that layout word again. There's a crossover here. Oh, here we go. You want yeah. to try to read this one? Yeah, do you want to actually just tell it to allow Google Drive to hit full screen? I could do that. Okay, the NSA won't find out. <laughs> can, can we just get a volunteer from the audience to read this out loud? Ruben! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Go as fast as you can. The essential point to keep in mind about the position of form and content is that the content is not formers, but that the form is on its own self. Quite as much as the form is external to it, there is thus a doubling of form and one time it's reflected into itself and then it's identical with the content. I don't like the text. <laughs> Another time it's not reflected into its itself and then it's essential existing. Ruben, I'm going to take that back. <laughs> <laughs> right, so this is really clear for everybody, right? <laughs> the point is that intersection between form and, and content is really complicated. Um, this is something that's been discussed for a long time. Go for it. It's wire time. Right. So what we're going to do, our challenge is that we start with the same wireframe. And then one at a time, we're going to build in separate development instances, we're going to build to that wireframe. Now Adam is only allowed to use the theme layer, and I am only allowed to use the module layer. So we're just going to walk you through the wireframe that we get. It's uh, we start yeah. with. Nothing too complicated. Uh, well, we're throwing ourselves a little curveball for putting the logo up on the right, or the image on the right, putting in whatever. Uh, little drop down nav, fancy slider, text overlay, coming events, teasers, newsletter box, and at the bottom, some little fancy social links. Any questions about the wireframe? We tried to make this straightforward. Yeah. Something that, that we've all seen a hundred times like this. So what is Yeah, rules. Press present again. Fancy. Right. So we both start with the same basic site. You guys don't want to watch us populate it with develop content, so we've already taken care of that for you. The one neutral zone that we've allowed us both to work with is the blocks admin, because it's actually <coughs> it was really funny watching Adam try and do the site without being <coughs> used blocks, but it wasn't actually a very good. It's still doable, it just takes longer. I <laughs> the template. Yeah, and broadly, Adam can only use the theme layer and I can only use the module layer. <laughs> He's a trickster, this one. Is this, is this yeah, I don't think there's any text with that. I think we just go ahead. <laughs> yeah, all right, so... You all right, go. so we're going to watch through Adam's screen while he starts first, and he gets 15 minutes to do this. Now, actually, do you have a, does somebody have a phone with a timer? Because... My phone with the timer is going to die before the time does. Yeah. You want to be the uh, official timekeeper? Let's go. <laughs> so just uh, to show everyone what we've got, actually, this is the, the <coughs> what we're actually starting with. So this is positioned, and you get... Okay, it's um, a little bit improved to develop content. And then the normal homepage... Oops, sorry, I did that. The normal homepage content, which is just like, lists everything. Dangerous to go alone. Take this. <laughs> <laughs> I 
don't know why I'm confused every time I put it on too. That's totally wrong. But oh there, what's on both sides? Fancy. Alright, and our job is to heckle. <laughs> this is a fight. <laughs> right? <laughs> is that all you got? <laughs> all right. Timer start, timer starting. Go ahead, you're 30 seconds down. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't tell me that. You didn't tell Thank you. Alright. Now how do I do this? Alright, all right. start by three minutes. Go ahead. Right. The one thing which he shouldn't do is admin admin is your password, really? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, I had that. So who was out last night? That was fun, wasn't it? Oh, you're going to do it again? No, I'm just going to oh. choose different selectors. 
because I don't like, there we go. And I'm alive, but okay, that'll work. <coughs> That's the tension? Yeah, how much time do I have? Oh, sweet, those are expensive. Nice. We're cool. I think you're actually going faster than last time. Really? I'm going to come back and finish. Can I waste the time of the slideshow? Oh. He, he was contributing to Drupal Core, so we have more. That's it. Normally, I would do this with much better selectors, but five minutes trans. With. <coughs> what was that? Aren't you glad you have all those selectors? <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. It's, it's, it's very special. We call it rich Someone gave these to me as spans and not divs. Right, so I don't have a second a second uh, adapter to switch back to the to the wireframe. But what he's doing here is making that little calendar widget that's supposed to come up beside every single event in that view. Uh, with the month on top and day on the bottom, you know, using one of those standards, right? <laughs> that thing. Almost there. A lot of font size only on the month. I will totally take help from the audience in doing that in the, in the mock away. <laughs> <laughs> You'll need it. No, wait, what? Style sheet I have done in a while, just for the record. <laughs> That's a period. Not that you have to believe me. Or they just like watching me struggle. You need some help? Yes. Yeah. Look at that. Boom. Yeah. Why are the neighbors still cheering? Yeah. Why are the neighbors cheering? Come on. Isn't that pretty? It's all CSS right there. Yeah. 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 Image cache. I do not have some good options here. So, I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> Oops, actually, I think we'll make 50 like the other ones. Isn't that awesome? Ouch. Right in the pride. Does this actually apply to work, right? <laughs> <laughs> Fixed I'm price, the faster I get it. <laughs> <laughs>
actually looks good because it's developed content, by the way. Like a real image, that would be so skewed. <laughs> Put real content in next time. <laughs> Look at that. Boom. Oh, oh, yeah. forgot about that. Don't oh, we like to change the form text button, don't we? I mean, the, the button text. What's my what? So, we're supposed to, we're supposed to change this, right? Well, we're supposed to change it too, Senate, now. Yeah. Did you leave some old code in there? Are you cheating? So I forgot, probably forgot to change it. You know what? You're absolutely right. Where is the thumb? Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's this one. Actually, you know, you're absolutely right. I should change it. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> I'm totally speechless. I'm totally speechless. All right. Um, the heck with the social links. I want to see if I can't get this thing. How much time do I have? Almost three minutes. Okay, I can do that. Yeah, it's because you copied in your entire template.php. <laughs> no, I forgot to take it out. <laughs> it's, it's a sin by omission, okay? I, I have to forget to take out my custom module here for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a ninja, it comes by you naturally. You come, you come by naturally. No, what, okay, well, I was doing some stuff up here. Oh, I thought I wanted to do. You want to talk about standards? I'll give you standards. There. Okay, how's that? That's it's standard. very pretty. That's not quite right. Why is it over there? What the heck? Did I set it to right? Bottom. Left. Zero. Hey, this is what happens when you. Oh, it's probably not. Oh, I see. It's probably not the right. Oh, there's a margin on it? Margin? Oh, it's from the margin. <laughs> and I would...
So let's hear it. For the femurs. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you learned nothing? Let's hear it for the femurs! <laughs> I think we go. I'm, next time I'm giving a session on enthusiasm. That was, that was because the important. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't expect enemies. <laughs> All right. Did we mention that we're using, we've got Morton's dongle? All right, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I have a maturity level of no, a five year old. Don't, don't start. Here. Uh, whoa, really? Okay. <laughs> Damn it. Um, and I don't have internet, so. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, I see how it's done. <laughs> oh, I'm going to try not to swear. Sure. In fact, I'm just going to take the whole thing. <laughs> That's classy. Aren't I? Yeah. No. Draft the yellow. Yeah, but I have no internet. Draft the yellow does not work nearly as well with it. <laughs> <laughs> Actually. While we're doing that, let's go to the regular bro blocks. I can't. Wait, wait, are you taking the featured one out of there? Yeah. I'm going to just do all this in bounds. Oh, okay. Because it's faster, or easier, or both. Do I have. I think I should tell Drush what to do. Okay. Oh, it's just really convenient. <laughs> I think he's having some technical difficulties, folks. Anything else that I need or might need? Definitely that. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. This is totally for a client, so <laughs> turn them all on. Translation. For the record, he also does a great session on caching. <laughs> Just turn it all on, it'll be fine. <laughs> Hungarian services? I wonder what that one was. Hungarian services? Uh, okay. Whatever they are, you can't pronounce them. <laughs> <laughs> Slideshow look good. Um, because I can't think of how to do it. <laughs> Coders, anybody got an idea of how to float that uh, that title over top? <laughs> I bet you could do it. Do it. And use rewrite. Oh, <laughs> I have some dignity. <laughs> Did I do this one? Change the spec. <laughs> there are no words. 
<laughs> I got nothing. All right, that's much better. All right, let's. <laughs> it's only slightly less ugly. Let's deal with this. <laughs> I see. Revenge is a dish, best served cold. <laughs> I am uh, a petty man. <coughs> Watch this. Ready for this? Why you're at it, you should use the blink tag. 
<laughs> I should have suggested that my you key. will. Your marquee. Yes. Oh, that's good. I hope I get these in the right order. I always mock them. Your markup challenges you, huh? You know what's sad? Yes. It kind of does. Okay, I didn't break anything terrible yet. Come here. So that middle is that uh what do we call those things? What else? Layout. Is, uh, what else are we supposed to be showing? Just title, body, and the stupid date. Left side, Adam's mom on the left She's side. She's not disabled for the record. Unless <laughs> <laughs> she one time have surgery. Oops, I don't need that. I just want to see the home page again. It's not even until yet. No, I'll bet you it's because I have to do this. It is surprisingly difficult to click this quickly. I like, practice, you know, I train. Reddit doesn't count. <laughs> hey, come on, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> Alright, let's do blog posts next. Uh, How shabby. It's better than, better than it's Sega. totally better than what I did in Sega. Do <laughs> you want to tell me what you did in Sega? Uh, I can't think well enough to do it right now. He did something in views rewrite. He dropped it in there. <laughs> I wrote the table of views rewrite. And then I used um, DS views and bed view. Oh, it's so ugly. <laughs> you know, there's, a, there's a, a way in which I actually quite enjoy that. How ugly it was. What did you do? The image on the left side? No. No. No, surely. That? Technically, that does not oh. match the layout. Look, title is supposed to be <laughs> title is supposed to be on top of the body, next to the date. Oh no, no, it's the view is the problem. Sorry, title is supposed to be next to the date. Check the check the uh, markup. <coughs> I'm gonna do it after I nice. Right. Because I don't. I'm pretty sure I've got like one minute left here. How much time has he got? Two minutes fifty. Okay. Look at that web form and say, Wow! <laughs> oh, and I like the label too. You like the label? Yeah. Does that make Thank you happy? You. Does that make you happy? Yes. Because it makes me unhappy. Um, I don't know what size to use. Let's you should, that's yet. still too big, but that'll be possible. I don't know. Not pixels? Much How does anybody remember pixels? Okay. Let's do this web form. This one is one that I'm sure I remember. She just copy and paste like me. <laughs> like a true ninja, there you go. That's a great idea. <laughs> Who says themers don't know what they're talking about? Uh, let's do this. Especially, you know what? I missed this. No paste. Thank you. Actions. Oh. Count value. Yeah, you know what I'm just going to do is do it for a minute so that I can. You're running out of time. How much time is it? One minute and 30 seconds. Why are you going to do that? Waiting for a little bit. There it is. Awesome. Okay, so I got the width right. And where is it? Action. <coughs> Time. Does that mean my time is up? No. No. That means that you pop it. What you got? What you got? <laughs> you might want to escape that apostrophe. And come out of your VPN. Good idea. Actually, the form is going to stay cached for a little bit, so it'll do its own refresh. And what else am I going to do? I got one minute left. Let's put something silly in the footer. There's no panel. <coughs> and he do it. How much time? 
much time has he got? 30 seconds. 30. Tell us what it's on time. All right. What you got there? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have time. <laughs> 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. I feel pretty good with this. Six, I'm just going to stand five, here and cheer. Let's <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah, so it's like a, what did I do? I made a view that took the event node ID as an argument like, it, it, to it display was, just one event node, but all it was, was displaying was the, the, the date fields mangled up. It was beautiful. It was, <laughs> made him so mad. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we have to switch because you uh, don't want to start <laughs> Saying you need more more than Entertainment are involved in dealing with, and neither of us can actually go one hundred percent of the way there. Um, in, in fact, I there are plenty of instances in the, in the real world where I communicate early and often with my developers to say, you know, this is going to be in a panel, oh, you're going to be this way, can we do it this way, the markup's better, or be more consistent with this other thing. It's, it's, I actually am starting to come to believe that it's the themer's job to, because once we get the design from the designer, the designer is frequently not in the process anymore. And it's kind of up to us to say, well, there's unnecessary complexity, or I don't care if this client's proven. I'm, Sorry, I just said that, but it's we are the uh, the guardians of the markup, and if we just take whatever they give us off the bat, it's not necessarily the best for the project. And on on our side, on the coder side, if we don't care what the DOM is that we're giving them, what the, what the markup looks like, that also sets us up for a really bad outcome. Neither of us can actually make it all the way there. We actually really do need to uh, to cooperate. So this means that the whole idea of the hierarchy that we that we work with in the bars and the Drupal cons and Drupal camps, where we we imply that coders are somehow better, <laughs> stronger, faster, better looking, more muscular, yeah. smell nicer, <laughs> better use, cuddlers. And they use beef Do you want me to keep going? <laughs> I can. I, I actually I wrote this out. I've got a nice long list. Better dressed. More talented, better dancers. And this is why you can't get deadlines. Right. He's been praying the truth. So, um, right, the point is that that actual hierarchy, for whatever the jokes we like to make about it, it's, it's not true. If you actually want an optimal site outcome and you want it to be done in an efficient and effective way where nobody wants to kill each other and nobody has to crawl into a bottle for a week after the project is done, you need to actually work together. So, next slide. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's right. Split screen's hard. Oh, that's right. Hard. We're not doing it. <laughs> right. So, <laughs> so, let's talk about how this can be done better uh, in a real world situation, right? I mean, usually you're not facing a 15 minute deadline. Um, that took 15 minutes each for one layout that was I don't know, what do you think, 70% done, 60% done? Yeah. When we did a time trial of this working together in Seged, we got this done in under 10 minutes, actually looking nice and something that you could present. Um, that improvement isn't necessarily going to be linear. I mean, if you're building an entire site, there's different levels of complexity, different parts of it, obviously. But the trend absolutely continues. Uh, it is important for us to communicate. It is important to communicate specifically about layout, and I don't know how often I have to say that for people to start paying attention, but the themer doesn't need to care about the data underlying data structure, and the coder doesn't need to care about necessarily how well your style sheets cascade, but we all have to care about the layouts, and we all have to plan that together.
Does anybody have any questions for us? This is a, this is actually a big. Uh, this informs the way that we do our own business at Forum One, and I'd like to hear questions specifically about practices. Anybody out here have trouble with this? Yeah. Um, so we have decided that the FEMA always has to uh, manipulate it on. So uh, decisions on using panels and which panels and stuff and creating panels layouts is in responsibility of the FEMA. Mm -hmm. So the FEMA is, or the Google FEMA is also has to uh, have site building and development skills, and that's the best way how we uh, because. We actually had a situation where we had CSS nurses who were doing a FEMA's job, and it ended up them using Node IDs that were rendered as classes and stuff. So that's when we decided, okay, everybody that's doing the front end part or the theming part has to have some development skills and know how to use uh, Google. And um, that's when the coders got really scared. One, mm -hmm. you want you want the themers to use features to do stuff with with uh, display sweep on the content types I created. No way, you're not going to do it. Mm -hmm. So that's why I was very interested in your fight because we actually do have that fight between themers and coders. Mm -hmm. I think everybody does to some some extent. Can I ask you where does the uh, sorry for the cameras? The comment was that in in, in his shop. Um, the themers are responsible for the DOMs. So the themers themselves use panels or DS, and they actually feature things up themselves, and that scares the hell out of the coders. Um, I wanted to ask a question back to you. Where does the coder's responsibility end? I always found um, part of the reason we do this presentation is because most most people have a problem where there is a it's a fuzzy boundary, no matter where you define it. Yeah, uh, it is hard, and we have decided it's it's always also how much time there is for the project. Mm -hmm. But um, the coder should create the content type and set up fields and stuff. But as soon as you use display suite and um, the when you hit the tab uh, button for manage display, mm -hmm. in my opinion, that's where the theme should start. But it. Sometimes this already helps the developer is on the content type anyway, mm -hmm. and if he already places the fields in the right uh, order. But I have not uh, seen it that the FEMA, uh, the coder delivered uh, in a way that the FEMA could would not have to touch it again. Can I ask for a show of hands? Is there anybody else who works in a shop that does the opposite? where the coder takes care of most of the DOM and the theme or just comes in for a CSS at the end? It's not like, I want to say like, I don't think we should define or have a line where like, the responsibility ends for one or another. But I think like the back and the front end should actually know what happens on the back end. On the back end, we should know like what is on the front end. So call the court like the company and say like, Absolutely. Go ahead, Ruben. And also, uh, I, w I want to say what happened with the site builder is so the guy that is in between the teamer and the backing <coughs> developer. So mm -hmm. I guess site builder can care about the configuring the views and how is the regular team markup or whatever. As soon as uh, the teamer should focus only in the CSS. But for a teamer to you know focus on the CSS and you know maybe have similar teaser layouts across content types, you have to know what you're going to be given. The, the, the themer doesn't have to do that work in display suite, but you have to do what work is possible in this display suite, uh, because otherwise, it, it, if you have control of the markup, a la Morton, of what, what he's going for, if you actually, you can, you can cut your style sheets by a half or, or, or more, just because you're not having redundant, you're not doing, you know, the same, you don't have to list all your view names, or you can just do it like, you know, dot teaser, and you can do so no, much stuff so just in, yeah. So, so the specific communication strategy that we have started using is when we get our, our designs, and our designs are getting down to the final stage, the head developer and head themer on a project, so actually it would be Adam and I on, on <coughs> 
this case, will sit down with the designs and with the designer and break it down and say, all right, well, this, mo this portion here, this is going to be our standard teaser layout, and we're going to read the, to the designer, you're going to reuse this layout everywhere that you need to show a node teaser in a similar kind of format to this. And we can set the policy, even, uh, even if I'm not the person who's doing the frontline coding, uh, I'm the supervisor, we can set the policy to say, all right, site-wide, all of the teasers, this is the look that they're going to use, you can use Display Suite for it. We'll look at a particular node layout and decide this is in DS or this is in panels or this is going to be a custom template and these are the important parts of the DOM. Adam will say, for example, in order for me to do the social links the way those are, they need to be grouped. Today, actually, he sent me a message saying, well, in order to do this, this particular set of fields with the image, you, I need to have some div wrapper around them. And, and it, we can set that, that as I, policy site-wide. It's not that I can't do it, it's that by having that, you know, a, a, a wrapper around it, it allows me to do it with less lines of code. It's just, it's the... It's making know, the best out. Sometimes that one, I mean, for all of you are sometimes that one extra div that makes something possible and easy that is a nightmare otherwise, or actually impossible. Yeah? How do you do it in your, in, you know, how you work? So how we do it, we do a front-end session before we start and a back-end session. So we make the definitions before we start doing the back-end. Mm -hmm. Meaning that the front-end, who is responsible of the front-end, he can then say what he wants mm -hmm. for the back-enders. So the decision is made before we start. <coughs> yeah. Do you, uh, and not only back-end, and then it's, you know, results in, in front-end. How do you do this? It's, it's similar. We, we we'll basically. start the back end a little bit before, but fairly early on we have to decide on, on exactly what's going to be built. And we have fairly standard, uh, what I'll call design patterns, you know, so, I mean, what's a teaser? It's, you know, I have an image on the left and a title and a body and maybe a read more link and maybe you're a few, whatever taxonomy fields are tagged or blah, blah, blah. And this is actually largely the same across, you know, across all content types. Maybe for an event, you've got the date instead of the image. If it's a blog post, you have the author's image. I mean, but they're all incredibly similar, and so maybe a compact teaser is going to be even smaller. Or the, so it's all so standardized. setting the design patterns up front is what, that's the equivalent conversation. When the, the guy who's got to do it's responsible for the front end look at the end gets to dictate, this is what needs to happen. And if there's something, for example, this speaks to what you're talking about. Uh, for the, a recent big project we just did, every uh, there was a, um, a field for every content type that was called type. So for resources, it's called resource type, and it's like a tax, basically a taxonomy list or whatever. What's that other? It was a type. It was, it was, a, it was a taxonomy list. list, but it was a different field in every content type, and it had to be I'm using Display Suite. But it, but it was themed exactly the same way. So using Display Suite, you, know, you can add a custom class, and I just knew that I was going to do it that way. So it was. We could plan that out in advance, and that made the site go go much faster. All right, guys, we're at time. Thank you very much. Thank you. One more time.